barbed wire stinks and combat engineers manage to figure out a way to make this stink more than it already does. There's something out there called Tanglefoot, and I'm sure you're wondering, what does Tanglefoot do? Well, it tangles your foot. But I promise, the science behind it is a lot cooler than you think. Now, to the untrained eye, when you see pictures of World War I, all that barbed wire and wired obstacles, you're like, wow, that's insane. That must be really effective. Well, not really. This guy in the background is just walking right over it with a plank of wood. But Tanglefoot managed to figure out a way to make barbed wire extremely effective. You see, Tanglefoot is not a standalone obstacle. Tanglefoot goes about ankle height. It's usually concealed or it's exposed because what they do is we would put Tanglefoot in front of your main obstacle. So not only do you have to breach your main wired obstacle here, you also have to get through the Tanglefoot on both sides, but it doesn't end there. You see, one thing you gotta know about wired obstacles, these middle sections are pickets or anchor points, and that's actually what's holding down that barbed wire so you just can't pick it up and walk under it or go over it. Here's what Tanglefoot does. Tanglefoot takes those pickets and sporadically places them everywhere. That means if you try to remove one picket, you got one maybe behind you or another one 10 feet in front of you, and that's slowing down your opponents even more. And you can't just crawl under Tanglefoot because the pickets and stakes are low. And remember, that barbed wire is ankle height. It's supposed to be Tanglefoot, not crawl underfoot. And you can't pull an old Johnny over here and just walk over it with a plank of wood because the barbed wire won't support you. It's displaced everywhere. The pickets are placed everywhere. Tanglefoot is a mess and it's a very interesting science combat engineers managed to figure out. Tanglefoot. 